Hey, in this video, we're going to learn how to create a team um, so that we could start building our uh, blog and an e-commerce website. So uh, I'm going to show you how to create a starting team um, and we're going to briefly go through what's in it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to initiate our team using MDB CLI tool. If you don't have it, if you don't know what it is, navigate to mdbgo.com um, and here you're going to find the uh, installation instruction. Um, long story short, um, you need to have Node.js installed, npm installed on your computer and if you have it, then just run npm install minus g mdb cli that's going to install you mdb once you have it um, you will also need a free account so you can uh, create one on mdbgo.com or mdbootstrap.com so if you have account already um, at one of this page you are um, ready to go so we have our team location so we installed our wordpress here if you don't know how to install wordpress please check the previous tutorial mm, so i assume you have wordpress installed mm, so navigate to wordpress wp content teams now copy this path and open terminal so once you have a terminal open mm, let's uh, let's let's run the co following command so change directory and let's go to this teams directory so now we are here let's log in to mdb so mdb login provide username and password and we are logged in now run the following command mdb wordpress in it this allows us um, to create a new um, starter mdb starter uh, it will ask us whether we are already in wp content teams directory so yes we are so say yes or y and hit enter and now we're going to choose wordpress uh, mdb starter so this is going to be an empty starter which has already mdb included this is going to create us this folder mdb sample free wp team let's open it and let's open up this in visual studio code um, so we're going to quickly go through the files over here now if we go to uh, our wordpress uh, local instance to teams directory let's refresh we're going to see the new team over here let's activate it and let's mm, open our page so this is how it looks like now if you go to index.php you're going to see this um you're gonna see this uh, piece of code which is responsible for mm, displaying this starter it's here um and let's quickly go and see what we have here so we have index um this is calling get header and get footer so we have header here and footer over there so basically our page consists of header index and a footer and obviously we have functions php this use require once uh, inc assets so this is another file which is included here and inside here we have these two functions which are basically loading our mdb.js which you're going to find under assets.js and mdb mean css which you're going to find under um, assets css and that's basically it so this is how you initiate an empty starter using um, mdb cli tool and in the next tutorial we're gonna start filling this with code so thank you for watching and keep coding